Uh, okay, so the last thing we're going into, guys, my personal favorite section of the entire show is our Christianity section. This In this area, we talk about the news going on in the Christian world, if there is anything of to note uh, that is really like big news that we want to talk about and discuss. And also, when we have guests on, we make it all about, not all about them, but we get to hear their story and their testimony, and we ask them two big questions. So today with Elf, we're going to get him to answer two things. One, how did he come into a personal saving faith in Jesus Christ? Uh, what's his testimony really? And two, how did he end up on Twitch? How did he end up with matching jerseys with a guy from Washington and <laughs> Chicago slash California? You know, uh, so we'd love to hear some of that. Hear some of your story, Elf. Um, and like I said, we we've had some history uh, already. I I remember like starting streaming. I think you were like, you came in that first year, maybe shortly into my it second was, year. It was probably your first year. Yeah. I remember you were like one of my first subs of someone that I didn't already have like a previous relationship with back in the day. Right. Yeah. And I met you through Susie. Yeah. Yeah. Which funny thing is that's actually how I became to Christianity was through Susie. Oh, awesome. Oh, okay. Yeah. So let's uh, hear that story. So yeah, uh, I, I've always been a big MMO player and I've always played a game called RuneScape. Mm, okay. Uh, I had had a relationship in the past with Christ and stuff like that, but I had ten, I fell off, basically. I was playing the game, and in one of the locations of the game, there is normally nobody ever there. Well, it's a church in one of the towns. And so I'm sitting there, and I'm walking through, and there's this large crowd. Oh, okay. And something that you normally never see, something that's just completely off the wall, so I've decided to walk in Hmm. and of course there's always somebody greeting you when you walk into a church well it was a member of the community of susie yeah so we started talking we became friends and susie was like hey come on to twitch um i'm doing an actual sermon right now come on and he plugged his link and since then it's just been growing and growing yeah Um, that was going on four years ago now okay yeah Wow. Um, I had originally been on Twitch. I've been on Twitch since it wasn't Twitch. Since it was just in TV? Since just it was in TV. TV. Yeah. My account is three months younger than Tim the Tatman's. Wow. Dude, how, how old's your account? And I'm curious. <laughs> 12 and a half, 12, 12 years, seven months. 12 years. Okay, that's older than mine. Yeah, okay. Dang. There's, you can't beat Ken. You can't get older than Ken on a lot of things. Yeah, but this one you did. <laughs> um, My son's one. account is older than mine, so yeah. That's not correct. It's, <laughs> it was just in TV. <laughs> yeah. He promises, yeah, uh, guys. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah um, evidence. Since then, it's like, yeah, I've been on Twitch for a long time. I've never been streaming until uh, January of 2019. Mm-hmm. No, 2018, I'm sorry. Uh, got affiliate. And then decided to start plugging in with GSC, GMA, stuff like that. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> and so where did the name come from? Have you always had the same name? Because that might be why the bot to generates the, yeah. the wrong uh, thing. Cause yeah. That- so actually, I've had the same Twitch name throughout the entirety of my Twitch. Yeah. Uh, which LC, it's in Lord of the Rings, like Elvish Tongue stands for Elvish Victory. Oh, okay. Oh. Nice. Hmm. Didn't know that. There's always an interesting that. story to people's names, whether it's in the name itself or how the name came about. So it's interesting to hear that. Huh? Yeah, I was never really a Lord of the Rings, like, fan, but I've always loved Elvish, like, lore and things like that. Yeah. So when I actually looked into, like, my family crest, even though I'm not from like England and stuff, the mm-hmm. last name actually has two elves holding halberds crossed. Ah, oh, that's super cool. So it's always been like a really cool thing of mine that it's like, okay, cool. I have elves on my family crest that I don't even know about. Yeah, that's super <laughs> cool. That's awesome. And it's cool to hear like you talk about this thing. Like you, you are a byproduct, like your faith, God used literally what we've been doing now. You know, what Susie has right. been doing for a long time. What we've been doing here for the last four years, you know, like, and the, I didn't even know that that was your story. I knew we met probably, I think, through Susie that way. Uh, right. Because at the time when I started streaming, I remember 
like I, I didn't know any other Christians that were doing this, especially like within the FPS, like Destiny and like gaming community. Um, you know, at the time, I think Susie was mainly focused on, I, was it RuneScape? Is that where you guys were? You that moving? was where we met, yes. Yeah, through RuneScape. So he really wasn't playing a whole lot of other games at that time. It was yeah. mainly just RuneScape. Yeah. So I remember like my first few months, kind of like not like building my own kind of community or whatever. And then about five or six months in, I think that's when Susie got partnered. And so then people were like, dude, right. there's another pastor on the platform that you need to meet. You need to get connected to. And I was like, yeah, send me the link or whatever. Send me his name. And, uh, and then that's when we connect. And I was like, oh, this dude's like blowing up. This is awesome. Like there's another pastor out here. And he, he actually like hit partnership. That's amazing. Um, and then through that, I think is where we started to cross pollinate in terms of like some of my viewers going to check him out, his viewers coming over to me. So it was, it was really cool. And then, yeah, then to hear like, again, not knowing your story behind it of like that you got saved through that. And then now here you are, you know, still streaming and, and having a real relationship with God. It's not something that just like happened one day and then fizzled out the next It's really, really cool to hear. Yeah. And then, like I said, it's been going on four years, if not over four years now that I've been with the various communities and still growing. Yeah. I, I'm not going to say that I'm a efficient like theologist or anything like that, but it's yeah. like, I'm better than I was when I started. So that, that in itself is a plus. Yeah, for sure. For you, what was it? I mean, because growing up, were you were you a Christian? Did you come yeah, from a Christian I, home? Up, I was, and then specific life things happened, and I kind of fell off and went down a different path. And then it got really bad. Yeah. Like, a various things were eating me alive, basically. Yeah. So what was it for you that when you actually went in, so you you uh you went into this runescape like church essentially you logged on to twitch and for you what was it that really drew you in or that was like yeah this is something i want to come back to this is something i know i need to get back to uh do you the remember it all yeah the community itself the like community just, itself hmm. how helpful friendly kind everybody is because when when you basically think of twitch when you anybody that you think on twitch what's their first thing that they say about twitch it's a toxic community yeah and when you go on to twitch and you see that like instantly it's like well wait a second everything that i've heard is a lie yeah so it's like i, I kind of clung to that yeah huh it's interesting god you know i think back in the garden you look at like adam when he's made and god says it's not good for man to be alone and a lot of times we associate that with like oh he's talking about marriage and why it's good for man to not be alone because you can't you know start a family and do all these things but also it's interesting to note that like god says that because god is super relational every community right. that we look at every community whether or not they acknowledge that there is a god or not but desires to model something that's very similar or, or model the perfect community that we see in in the Trinitarian God between the Father, the Son, and the Spirit, that they've always loved each other. They've always perfectly served one another, had love for each other, peace for one another, even before time itself, right? And so every community wants to reflect that. And God says, you know, Adam, you you are my image, and I want you to reflect that I am a relational God. And you can't do that by yourself. You have to be in relationship. You have to be in community. And so I think community is something that draws, that God does use. He's Like you just said, he used it in your life to, to show you man, there are relationships to be had here there, you know, that aren't toxic, that aren't perfect. They're not going to replace God, but that should point you back to the God that is very relational, not just among right. himself, but with us. And so that's super cool to hear, man. That's awesome. Ken, do you have any follow-up questions for him on, on, uh, his spotlight here? No, no, it's, it's great to hear that. I mean, I said, I mean, I, I forget when I first met him. I seen him around back and forth. I remember one time there was definitely one where uh, he was, a prayer was answered. I forget what the stream was. I remember a prayer was answered. And I remember him being on, on going on stream and just, you know, just testimony to God and whatnot. I forget what it was exactly, right? But that very moving, very last touching. year around? Last year. Yeah, I, right. I think I know what you're talking about. Uh, with Susie. Yeah. I think it was so yeah. Tuesday. Uh, like I was so, going in that stream and all, and like he's like, "Wow, you know, it's just." So our car got repossessed. That's what it was. Mm. All right, okay. And Susie basically was like, "All right, I never do this," but he basically was like, "I'm gonna make a donut goal right now." He goes, "How much? How much do you think it is gonna get to get it back?" 
And I told him kind of a number that I would have thought. And within three minutes, that was raised. Yeah. Right. Right now, yeah. I remember you just on stream, you just, it was very touching. It was very moving. You know, I remember watching that, you know, it's like, yeah, praise God for that. I just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I hear mostly. That's awesome. That's amazing. You know, and then now to kind of see, like, like we said, you know, it's not like, okay, hey, I'm here just for the community because if it was just that, eventually, you know, like, like we all acknowledge and say, it, like, we're human. We, we fall short. We let people down. You know, we, we shouldn't uphold any one single person, pastor or not, you know, and I'm saying that as a pastor, like, you, we, we don't idolize them because they're just humans. Like I tell my friends all the time, I'll tell you guys, like at some point I will let you down. I'll miss the stream. I'll, you know, like value. I'm going to say my wife is more valuable. So I need to go spend time with her, whatever. Um, but, but it's because God got a hold of your heart that you're still here and you're still, you know, doing things. Now you want to tell us a little bit about what you've been doing. Then you said you started streaming about, uh, January of 2019. What mainly have you been streaming? What, what kind of, what was your decision making to go like, I'm going to start streaming and start being a streamer versus like, I'm just going to stay a, a viewer pretty much. So for me, like, like I said, I always love video games and I love watching people. And so I'm, my thought process was, it's like, okay, if I love video games that much, why don't I turn it into something that other people can potentially watch my gameplay? Mm -hmm. And I, I started then I was, as always, you stream into one person, and that being your phone. I right, mean, yeah. Honestly. Uh, well, I always was looking for different games. I started off on RuneScape. I really wasn't doing a whole lot. Well, I went to Eternal. Uh-huh. It's a card yeah. game. I know Eternal. Uh, in that time that I switched to Eternal, I've applied for partnership twice at this point. Nice. Because of Eternal. Yeah. But because uh, like I was loving the game, loving the game, and then after two denials, I'm like, am I still loving the game for the right reason? Right, yeah. Which I know I wasn't. I was going for the clout. I was going for the fame of getting that little purple check mark. And yeah. it was a, like, I wasn't going for the right reasons. Right. So I got, I've kind of backed off of streaming a little bit. I'm going to get back into it here very soon. Gotcha. But for the right reasons. Yeah. 